With Adobe Captivate 9, you can now convert interactive or non-interactive objects to multi-state objects. This feature allows you to develop interactive content easily without using multiple objects or hide and show techniques in a single project or a slide. To add multiple states to an object, select the object. Now go to the Properties Inspector and click the plus sign under Object State Selection. Give it a name and click OK. Now, go ahead and make some changes to the state. You can also go ahead and click the State View button to open the Object State Manager and view the original object and the new state that you've added. This will also allow you to add more objects to the state and also allow you to add new states. Click Exit State to close the Object State View. Interactive objects in Adobe Captivate 9 have built-in states of Normal, Rollover, and Down. And you can also add additional states to these interactive objects. You can have multiple states for non-interactive objects as well, which can be triggered on a click of a button. In this example, let's create multiple states for this car and trigger color change on click of these buttons. Select the car and click State View. Click New State. Name the state as Red and click OK. With this new state selected, go ahead and click Gray.png button in the Properties Inspector. This will allow you to switch the image. Here, go ahead and find the Red.png in the library and click OK. The old image of the car has been replaced by this new red image. Similarly, I'll go ahead and create states for blue, green, purple, and orange cars. Now click Exit State. Select the red button. In the Properties Inspector, go to the Actions tab. Change the action to Change State Of. Select Car here and set the color of the car to red. Similarly, I'll assign actions to the other buttons to show their respective colored cars. Now let's preview the project. Notice how the color of the car changes on the click of a button.